groovy smooches. I just want to, for a moment, take a moment to um, address some nonsense. Because I, I just, I don't, I'm not even concerned with the, the females. Let me just say this. Okay. I'm not even concerned with the females who are doing it. I'm concerned with the rest of us giving any shine to females that are discussing um, giving negative attention to Gabby's hair. <laughs> this is like ridiculous. Not even ridiculous that they're doing it because that population of heifers have, has been out. They're not new. They've been in the natural hair community making up the masses of the natural hair community from whence it became this newfound trend. I need to quit driving with my emotions. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I hear people talking about the people who are talking about it, you know, negatively, which is great and everything. But I don't, I don't think people understand that for ignorant people, a negative attention is still attention. So, can we just not, and, and you guys acting like, oh, these women, and this is coming from the black community, and blah, 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 blah. Really? Like, this is a handful of people. By the time media and everybody else gets, gets through discussing it, like it's so massive, <laughs> it seems like a big deal. But this is a handful of ignorant bitches who hold their womanhood in the follicles of their hair. Why are you giving them any attention? You should look at them and be like, mm, one of those. I just hope she doesn't have children. I mean, that's as much shine as they should ever, ever, ever get. If you look into the eyes of this beautiful little girl, this is the cutest little pug nose and big old beautiful young but wise eyes who is secure, you know, and they're talking about all tainting her victory with the, with talk of her edges and gel and stuff. That was a handful of people. I want to keep this PG-13 just in case she, she catches this of the 8 million videos people have made congratulating her. And as I do, as do I. But I'm saying really, like, these are the females you are giving shine to that you know go on this journey based on their damn hair and don't want to just be a good woman however they decide to wear their damn hair really I mean their freaking hair I just I, I cannot and I'm telling you Dear rest of the world, this, this what you are hearing is not a black woman thing. Then that's another thing. Y'all give people too much credit. Y'all throw, y'all just throw around the words men and women, like everybody of adult age is a, is actually a man or a woman. These heifers are not grown or adult. <laughs> you know, neither applies to them. Listen to people, what people say, absorb their character or lack thereof, and deal with them accordingly, don't, or don't. I mean, at all. And, and guys, when you see them, don't reproduce with them. Do not reproduce with these females. Females, when you see trifling dudes, do not reproduce with them. If you choose in your life or your life to go south, hook up with them. Develop what you think is a relationship to you two. You know, run that unhealthy thing into the ground. Enjoy it. But don't bring another life into the world. And don't influence other impressionable people. <laughs> Please. Please don't do that. Y'all talk, and again, you know, you're saying she, they're taking her victory and, you know, this backlash about her hair. There is no backlash from this handful of unimportant females, really, broads. Gabby is not, that, that does not touch her. And I'm so glad that to see a young female, you know, we have a couple of, um, mature ones that you guys give no 
not not enough shine for just being good people because you're just so busy you know full of hatred I don't mean criticism and disagreeance I mean hate you you just look you have these are people that you have to look for things it's like the Republicans that have to look for things to try to badmouth uh, the president like people try to look for things even if you don't like her talent she's a hell of a woman Beyonce even if you don't like her choice in men but she is a hell of a woman the first lady a hell of a woman so I'm really glad to see these uh, people being developed and and um, potentially and those people potentially uh, reproducing and potentially influencing other people those are who I want to see why are we giving in these and these bras are not new You've seen these guys, these these chicks go on other people's videos who wear their hair like they want to and be like, oh, you shouldn't put that in your hair because such and such and such and such. And they're talking to a woman who has her life together, who is attractive to gentlemen, who is doing a beautiful job of raising beautiful children. And they're getting advi hair advice to make their life better to make the person with the I don't know the relaxer or whatever they want to give them advice on how they wear their hair make their life better but the natural hair chick life is all crazy she can't get a man for nothing and the ones that she do get <laughs> mistreat her her kids are all over the place You know, rearrange, prioritize. You broads, can you prioritize, please? Because your wounds, I, I want to say unfortunately, are needed to populate the world. And the problem right now is that the least intelligent of you are reproducing the most. I take issue with that. I don't I don't care about you screwing up your life, but I take issue with you repopulating the entire world with more of you. Gabby, go have a whole bunch of kids. Could you do that please? Bay, continue to have all the blue ivies you want and call them all and name them all the crazy botanical names you so desire. Even if you have to do reproduce them with Jay. Because I can't say he wouldn't be a good father even if I don't see him. Because that's me. I ain't got to marry him. So reproduce is what I'm saying when you have more, when your moral priorities are intact. Do, do you have all kinds of children. And the rest of you females I curse your womb I curse your I, I curse your, your womb and your ovaries you know not with deadly terminal disease or anything but with the inner with fertility with the sterility I curse you with sterility you're giving these females any attention whatsoever like deadbeat dads get all the flack but I am seeing all kinds of deadbeat mothers but I'm seeing all kinds of deadbeat baby makers all kinds so shout out to shout out to uh, Miss Hawkins shout out to Miss Hawkins for raising uh, beautiful children and when I say beautiful children I'm all I'm most often 
And when I say beautiful children, I am going to always be talking from the inside out. So, of course, who she is makes her even more gorgeous. And she really is just generally physically beautiful. Oh, little old lean muscular ass <laughs> but um yeah I'm just I just can't with hearing one more person talk about this handful of broads who don't matter they don't even matter to the men that look at them they don't even matter to the men in their lives But can you just, and can you just not stain? These brides are not staining this young lady's uh, victory at all. They don't, they can't even get a little corner of that shine to be able to do that. You have to be important to be able to be a detriment to it. Your opinion has to matter for And it doesn't. Your opinion on a physical characteristic does not matter. <laughs> I'm just saying. And people are like, these are grown women saying this. These are adult women. No, they're not. They're not. 